federal nightmares talking night tears. Never folding, you tell them they got a fight here. Without writing, you tell them they got a white head. Soon as they go for the cheese, bring me that mice head. Squad cool, they still living, they not dead. They head high, they gloves on, they not scared. Know the family gon' eat off my bread. Know the family gon' eat off my bread. Back on the roll, I'm off the bookie shit. Had to step a foot out of the shadows, the bully shit. Without the numbers and strength, let's see who really rip. Chasing down his money in full speed, who really fit? I really sick, they took my brother, they took another. I broke the zone, I hit the spots they couldn't cover. They didn't love us, they wanted to see us rumble. Put us under the pressure, but none of my niggas crumble. All of my niggas dirty, is nothing for us to mumble. I told them hold tight, they waiting for us to fumble. But I'ma hold it down and let me hold the crown. You can hype the soldier up and be a soldier down. Niggas better sober up, that shit is slow you down. Got this rap game in my clutch, so I throw it down. Freedom men is still OBH. Plus, I'm still rumbling the open case. Federal nightmares talking night tears. Never folding, you tell them they got a fight here. Without writing, you tell them they got a white head. Soon as they go for the cheese, bring me that mice head. Squad cool, they still living, they not dead. They head high, they gloves on, they not scared. Know the family gon' eat off my bread. Know the family gon' eat off my bread. Look, I don't like y'all. See why I'm different, I'm nothing like y'all. Mine's well work in the jail, you fucking night guard. Rose from the mud, so I ain't hearing that your life hard. Life gave me lemons, I made it my cards. Still got some hitters, so I'm go there. Run you down to your nights off. Walk up on you and turn your lights off. Adios. Still in the hills, blowing that Cali smoke in the stolen hotel room, reciting Gotti quotes. A loner, ain't no over or no under me. That's why every single bit I did comfortably. Saw it before, knew the bitches that a dick ride. Saw the fake in them, knew the niggas that a switch sides. Knew that one day they be coming with some big lies. Try blend rap and reality just to get time. I guess talking about drugs such a big crime. Well, if it is, then I really quit this time. Federal nightmares talking night tears. Never folding, you tell them they got a fight here. Without writing, you tell them they got a white head. Soon as they go for the cheese, bring me that mice head. Squad cool, they still living, they not dead. They head high, they gloves on, they not scared. Know the family gon' eat off my bread. Know the family gon' eat off my bread. <laughs> yes, yes, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. Yes, 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 y'all. And we back, y'all. And we back, y'all. And we back, 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 y'all. On school, y'all. On school, y'all. On, 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 on school, y'all. And I'm put on, put on, put on, Yo, stop playing, man. You already know what time it is. It's fucking paint way, and we are here with another episode. Of art school, I appreciate everybody for tuning in on this Sunday. It was kind of brisky out there, yo. Shout outs to the big G math in the back with his engineering expertise as always, yo. So we're starting today off. What's today? Uh, Sunday, two seventeen. Yep, February seventeenth, two thousand and nineteen, and it's your host with the most. Your bay moms, aka the silverest of the surfers, aka the multicolored Power Ranger, aka Professor X, because I handle all my business sitting down. Boss. Oh, boss. Yo, smack, man. Get this nigga a call. Yo, stop playing, right? So, today, right, we're continuing on with the mantra of S Street Media, where we connect those dots with those who are part of this media streaming site company organization platform development group however you want to call it you know and he was killing me because when he came on facts he, he was like yo let me tell the story Can so I story, please? so i would like to just introduce to you one of the most gangsters photographers right you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Right, real quick, so he can tell you the story better than I can because <laughs> this was part of the universe. Because tonight we were supposed to have Lexi Bella, you know, what I mean, she does all the huge uh, murals and stuff like that. And due to some overwhelming circumstances, she wasn't able to make it. And I was talking to my girl Aman and Awoke, right? Another wonderful designer, fashion 
expertise. Uh, well, she has a lot of fashion expertise, but she's down the hallway. And I was talking to her when she was, you know, speaking about what was going on tonight. You just so happened to be walking through eating a bag of spare rib tips. Y'all eat pork, man. Uh, tonight's but guest, without further ado, somebody that is a part of Street Media. You know what I mean? Funny guy, photographer, has a lot of character, has a lot of charisma, you know what I'm saying? And he probably could be part of a, like a 90s uh, all chocolate um, R&B group, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, my man, Maniac, man? My man Maniac Experience, y'all. Let's give it up one time, you know what I'm saying? Gangland, yo, ain't no fuck yo, time it is. I need some intro music, man. I need that Rocky music type of shit. Yo, man, thanks for having me, but I don't know... Cause I ain't have, I ain't get a call. This was like surprise. No, I'm minding my business, eating my um shrimp and broccoli with garlic sauce, and um, <laughs> you was like, you you gonna be on my show? I'm like, alright. But this was a long overdue, we'll cause you know, I interviewed you like four or five months ago, and um, ain't been no four just, or five yeah, I did interview ago. you five months ago. Then um, so I'm waiting. Five months later, he wanna interview me now. <laughs> yeah, like what the fuck type of shit is that? Yo, but I, I think I'm I'm a little happy. I'm getting an interview. But I'm gonna turn it up. I'm gonna turn it up for you. I got you. I got you. I got, I got you. you. Yo, so right, yo, representing w Williamsburg. Yeah, Williamsburg. I represent Bushwick. Bushwick. Okay. But I live in Williamsburg. I represent Williamsburg too. Okay. Yo, I, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about you know what I mean your upbringing and stuff like that because like when you brought me on, you was talking about you know what I mean me being an artist and how you're not so much of what I do in the art world, but yeah. you do what you do. As far as with your craft, which is like photography, you know what I mean. You get your branding on and stuff like oh, yeah, that. Maniac, maniac, you know what I mean. Spiders, what led you? You, what? Guys, you guys, look at this right here. Look at the look at look at this maniac experience sweater. This is less than a year. You heard? Less than Yo, a ho, year. Watch out for me, man. I'm bigger than Rock Nation. Yeah, I said it. I don't think you're bigger than Rock Nation. Yes, I am. Well, come to my brunch. I'm having maniac. Y'all gonna brunch. have food there? Cause do you know Rock Nation? They don't be having food at their brunch. I ain't got food in my shit either. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got a food stand card. <laughs> we had to double up. up. We had to double up in February. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> things hit twice. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you better spare that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, so you said Bushwick in the house. You know? Yeah. How was that? How was that growing up? Basketball. Yeah. Nothing but basketball. And that's what you did. Let me tell you, I'll give you a little, 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 little go down memory lane real quick. Mm. Born and raised in Bushwick. I was born in Bushwick at the age of what, 14, 13. I moved to East New York, and that's when everything changed. Yo, gangland. That's when everything changed, man. Um, it's no more basketball. It was eight balls. Mm. You know, it wasn't no more nothing. No, they don't, it's like, you don't got a childhood in East New York. So it's like your childhood is done once you be able to go outside. I mean, it was crazy. I'm from the East too. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Pine, and Pine between Blake and Sutter. Yeah, that, that block is hot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And that it, block was super hot. So then I moved to Cooper, uh -huh. and um, and that's where I'm still at right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact. I mean, yo, not for nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Growing up. You know, it, there was a lot of yo. East New York was crazy, son. The East is kind of uh, East New York is still crazy, but I right, I can't. You lived in East New York all your life, right? All my life. All right, see, so I lived in Bushwick. Mm. Like niggas still going to Jackie Robinson. Mm. Niggas was still playing ball every day, bat football. Mm. Call your man out the window. You can we come inside play Skelly? Once I went to East New York, it was no more Skelly, nigga. It was no more mm. none of that. <laughs> niggas ain't playing no basketball. Mm. There was some. There was a lot of shit going on in there. Yeah, yeah. So, but I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I'm happy I left East New York though. Wow. Because at the end of the day, son, I was just been a gangster with a with a felony record. I wouldn't have been a gangster with a camera. I feel <laughs> you. Oh, you got no cameras in East New York, nigga. I feel you. I feel you. The the East is kind of like a working, like a working class, like. Yeah. You're right though. It's great because it's mad houses. Yeah, it's mad yeah. work. Like you you're just thinking, go to work. But you're thinking like, all right, all these houses is cool. Nah, that's nah, right. it's not. It's like you just gotta go to work. It if might not, be yeah, if you ain't going to work, you probably be in the park. But you ain't gonna be in the park like that for real. You let know me tell you. Uh, let me tell you why East New York is so it's crazy, right? Because you move to a block, you got like once you move to a certain block, you already got beef. You don't even know. Like once I moved to my block, I already had beef with. Projects like I don't know, and I don't know none of these niggas. <laughs> like 
well, how the fuck I got beef with you? I don't know these niggas. I don't know niggas on my block. I just moved here. Yeah. But it's like automatic. You inherit beef, my yeah, nigga. Yeah. Like you from Miller, you can't really fuck with Bamas. Like you think what I'm saying? Like yeah. like so if I moved to Miller. And I had a girl in the band, but so, nah, I'm, yeah, nah, yeah, it was yeah, over. Yeah, and I'm right. like, damn, nigga, I'm not from over there, but niggas don't give a fuck. How long did you live in East New York? Like seven years. Oh, uh, so you had a good, like a good, ooh. Yeah, man, I, learned, I ain't gonna lie. I learned everything. I learned everything from East New York, though. Uh. Like, streetwise, like, you know? Streetwise, it was, it was, I mean. You, it, like, yeah, it wasn't over. Like, basically, you, well, don't, don't, can't be a teller. Mm. That ain't happening in East New York. Mm. And you know, just stay, be a man, stay on your own, nigga. Nigga, say some shit, you back your shit up. That's Yo, it. you was taking pictures back then? That hell no. Uh, you wasn't into none of that back nah, then? Nah, man. You just thought it was going to be the next El Chapo. Mm. You know? But that, that dream was short lived. Mm. Hope <laughs> dreams deflate like a true fiend's yeah, way. You know? But, Yo, um, which one called should actually have, like, Lyrics like that, like the Bangkok Hour. Yeah, know? he got he, yeah. he had a like Rusty Juke line. Like even though I like Rusty Juke, yeah, I, yeah, I, I met yeah. I, I knew Rusty Juke from One Hundred Park. He was on Freestyle Friday. Who? Rusty Jukes. I remember. He was he's he was like after Poster Boy and shit like that. Oh okay, yeah, I know. I know and oh, um, so that's how I knew who he was. Mm -hmm. And but you look, you're doing trivia, you can't like who the f like you can't even throw that shit in like no. Yeah, you gotta put some. Yeah. At least if he does that, at least said it, I this artist from Brooklyn, he's from like and say the bar, then like all right, cool. Probably. You probably. just can't say the bar like expect a nigga to know it. Yeah, especially because niggas smoke too much. Yeah. I uh, smoke. Yeah, I don't smoke, but yeah, I understand. Yeah, I feel you. So you said East New York you said uh Bushwick, Bushwick. East New York, then yeah. you moved to the you came back. Then you know, uh then moved to Winsburg from Yeah. What high school did you go to? I went to <laughs> I went to Frank and K Lane. Oh. I went to Grady. Ooh. I went to Wildcat Academy. I went to, <laughs> I went to so many schools. I went to Lane twice. <laughs> Word. Yeah, ass. shout out to Frank and K Lane, man. Another historical school and within the community of East New York, man, that doesn't get that much recognition at all. Like I think it's kinda cause it's isolated and it's like the furthest off. You know what I mean? As far as like, because it's Queens, it's like Brooklyn, it's like Queens. a borderline. Yeah, now, once you, it's on full. And then once you go into that, like, yeah. Once, once you, you turn see, it's like Bushwick and Best Style, like Broadway. Yeah. If once you, once you, if you under the track, you yeah. in stuck in between. But once you go to the other side of the track, you are in Best Style or you in Bushwick. Yo, That's how my grandma's never wanted me to go to Lane. She was like, "Yo, don't you go to Lane? That shit is right next to Potter's Field. You know what Potter's Field oh, is? Oh, yeah. If when you go to Jeff, Jeff nigga be going with no yeah. life insurance. She was like, "Yo, that's bad juju. <laughs> that's real bad juju." I was like, "Damn, that's fucked up." You know what I mean? I never knew Potter's Field was right there. So, to everybody that's living in the community of East New York, don't forget, man. We got a lot of big schools. Schools that's been there for like a hundred years. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, Maxwell. Maxwell, Transit Tech. Yo, they was building Jeff, Jeff Transit, all of shit. Like if you go look back in the days and you look at the development in this in the storyline and when they was building, like there was no actual streets for Pennsylvania yet. Oh, what? Like when they was building that school, there was no streets yet. Like that's how far along that school. Like if you really look at the the date, you know how they be having the dates on the book on the building on that. That mm -hmm. shit was there since like eighteen sixty five or some Damn. wild shit like that. Wow, you know what I mean? Yeah, but John Gotti from East New York. Oh man, I know. Yo, a lot of Italian yeah. gangster Jews. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying and all that from my neighborhood, the neck of the woods. But you know what I mean. You're from Bushwick though. You know what I mean. Would you 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 would say you? you I I read Bushwick. Okay, you read Bushwick. <laughs> But I I I I rep East New York too because I learned a lot from East New York. But I'm more Bushwick nigga, man. No, um, so you um if you had a neighborhood to pick, you know what I mean, of some um some pitches, which which neighborhood would you go to, to take the more? You know what I, mean, to <laughs> I take dare sure go to I dare sure go to East New York, nigga. <laughs> I think you would catch some fire. Nah, 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 nah. But like, no lie. If I would. If I, uh, if I ran to the alum sign of money and I was like, I don't need East New York, though. That's a fact. My block only, really. Even though no one, even though no one lives there no more. But like I said, that block I learned, and I, I'm, I still got friends there. I still got friends. I still cool with. 
mm. to this day from East New York. Mm. And uh, but like I said, I learned a lot from East New York, so I could never talk bad about East New York. Heard you. So yo, you said you wasn't into no photography. You nah, said, you was just trying to be. Were you thinking about business back then or not? Nah. nah. Well, you you say you was thinking about business. I was yeah, but I wasn't you no know, like it was it was nothing like I'm trying to do now. Hell, fucking yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. I don't even think we had any of that shit too. Nah, we did. Actually, everybody wanted a job. Like, you know, I just posted. Um, my man, I reposted my um thing on Instagram today, right? And I was like, if you got a job in two thousand in two thousand eighteen, you're a fool. Like, you shouldn't work. So, the guy from my neighborhood, real positive dude, man. Shout out to Bones, man. Um, he said, uh, uh, sounds silly. But you, you just you, you just heard me say no job because he has a job. Mm -hmm. So I guess he felt the way. But I was like, nah, see, you got to listen to the message. I said, basically, if you got talent in 2018, you shouldn't have a job. Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck are you working for? Mm -hmm. For what? Like, I don't understand. Like, I ain't say I would never get a job if I if come down to it and I have to, then it is what it is. Yeah. But if you got a talent, you, you, sh you shouldn't be working for nobody but yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and so I don't give a fuck how many kids you got. I mean, in some way, uh, hey, when they can say that I got kids, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, nah, indeed. I don't I'm, care about the kids. I'm saying in the sense, I, I don't care about none of that. If you got talent, you maniac, should just maniac always is on the yeah, because I don't, I hate when they can say that, like, yo, no, I got family. I don't give a fuck about your family, nigga. Mm. You got talent, nigga. You got to sacrifice, yeah, my nigga. Like, it, like I said, these rappers go on tour for months and don't see their family. You think they want to leave their family, but they have to sacrifice one thing. To get where they go and then come back to the family with the, with the bag and they can enjoy life. Yeah, like you got sometimes you got to be selfish. Yeah, especially in this game, you know. what I mean, it's pretty hard. You know, I was talking to Shorty about that. You know, what I mean, and I was like, yo, you know, not for nothing. You know, if you want, you know, what I mean, me to be out there. You know, what I mean, go and get this bag. Then you gotta realize that that comes with a lot of sacrifice. You Hell know, so yeah. Then. They get mad because they don't see like money coming in at the beginning, so they be like, "You doing it for nothing?" No, I'm not doing it for nothing. No, I ain't doing I'm, it. I'm mm, mm, building my profile up. I'm, I'm I'm trying to perfect my craft. Yeah. And you'll see at the end of the day, you'll see it paid off. But nine or ten times, they never see. They never. They ain't gonna see it anyway because you don't want them leaving them anyway. And somebody else gonna reap the benefits. Mm -hmm. Some chick was only there for a year. Gonna reap all the benefits. <laughs> Facts though. Right. That's what usually. That's what usually happens though. Mm. You know, this bitch, and I, I was home for 10 years, bitch, for 10 years you was complaining, though. Mm. And they bought this bitch for, like, you know, like, Kevin, like, for instance, then I should be recording, I should be recording this on the phone, man. It's like a post this shit. What's D like that? She's about the camera and she record my yeah, shit. Yeah, she's in the Bronx somewhere. Yeah, she could be she's on the way, though, but you all right? Um, fucking, like, with Kevin Hart, you know, like, he was his girl forever, but then they broke up. Now some other girl is reaping all the benefits. Like, Kevin Hart made moms ain't even seen half of what his what Kevin Hart new wife is seeing. Yeah. But, she, but he know she was there longer, but I bet you all them years you was complaining though. Like, just stop, get a job. And he like, no, he wasn't bringing no money. He probably getting $50 for a, for a stand-up show. You like, that shit ain't bringing you no money. You got bills to pay. Fuck that shit. He finally made it. He, I ain't the governor no more now. Somebody, somebody else is reaping all the benefits. It's this dude on Instagram. You know, this is a fat comedy dude. He be like, Talk like if you watch the videos, then mm -hmm. he give it, then he talk. He's fat, mm -hmm. comedy nigga. Mm -hmm. He he said his wife told him to quit his job. Like don't worry. Yo, I was watching something last night. There's a new series. And by the way, right, man, gangland shit. Y'all already know what time it is, man. S Street Media, man, a black vice land. But on a white vice land, they had a show. <laughs> <laughs> they got a show called Hustle. A hustler or something like that. And it's this guy that gives advice to entrepreneurs, you know what I mean, about the business. And he's like, yo, um, you should quit. Yo, like, this is why you only make it 12K a year off your product because you got a nine to five. Facts. And you got to quit. Yeah, I don't understand that. In son. certain instances, though, I don't, I don't, I don't want to quit. What happened? It ain't oh, a secret. Shit. You know what the crazy? It's not even a secret. People know, and they Math. still don't like. Yo, Matt in the back, like, yo, chill. Yo, these, you know what? They deaf, dumb, and blind. God, that's what it is, it's man. Like, you got these people that be giving these motivation speak, like that white dude. He's cool. He like he got a good voice, and so you you you, you stated because you know he can talk clear. Yeah, you understand everything he's saying, but you don't need to talk to me. Yeah. Cause everything you say, I know already. Like it's all this shit is common sense shit though. The like, only time I people. Think I, Yo, the world is 
the world ain't dumb. It's people that live in the world that's dumb, man. Like, I don't understand these people, man. Like, the answer is right here. This, and niggas still go look for advice and pay $100 to go to a fucking program. Well, I'll talk to you for $100. I give the best advice. I might not take my own, but I give, but nah. let's believe me on. Because that's what you the average. People who give advice usually don't take their own advice. That's a fact. That's a big fact. But don't think, because I don't take my own advice, it's not good advice. It's just, some, you know, it's how life is. Yo, not for nothing though, right? We got the same sneakers on today. Yeah, Van Gang. Pretty cool, man. Van Gang. I got like bro. 10 pairs of these shit. Yeah, man. I'm sticking to it. I, I got a. It's 60 dollars. I really man. wanted those sixes, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Math, too. I've seen him in his vans. I've yeah, seen him in his little vans. Yeah, keep me on his vans. Yo, you man. Know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie, man. I'm a skateboarder. Fuck it. I, 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 I'm I a really skateboarder wanted, without a skateboard. I really wanted those sixes, though, man. Them infrared drop side. Yo, man. yeah. Them shits is fire. You know, after, uh, after I put my foot in a pair of vans, man, all of my other sneakers went out the window. So you ain't get a pair of sixes? I'm good. You bugging, boy. I'm good, Jack. But I know one thing. I cannot commit no type of crime because they're going to know who I am. Wow. Because the old I wear is vans. Right? Wow, like, man. And, and, the waffle print is going to be And all I wear the same the ones, world, like man. the black and white ones and the red ones. But I got like mad black and Yo, white Yo, what's ones. your favorite color vans? Black and white. The black and white the ones. Original hot top. Yeah, that's all the ones I wear. I really like the all white joints. But nah, I, I, I don't try to. I just stick with the original. The nah, red, like the, the blue, black like ones, the red ones. Ones. Burgundy and white. I got burgundy, yeah. I got burgundy white ones. I got burgundy and black ones. I got the burgundy. I got all burgundy. In fact, I bought a pair. All burgundy. The, the master's coat when I had bought. Yo, the coat. my man is a official. You are official van head. If you this, get this, the this all escape, single color solid. This is a, this is a skate. This is one of the, like a skateboard jacket. Like I'm all skateboard out, baby. Yo, what type of camera is that, man? You got your camera here with you today? That's a, that's a Canon 7D. Ooh, heard you, Canon 7D gang. I don't even know what that. I used to shoot. I'm getting back into it too. I just gotta get my camera back. I was shooting 35 millimeter and 55 millimeter. I like that. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, you more sure. digital though. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Yo, listen, man. I just come up to the camera, man. You already know the. the, the, shot, the man. Come up to the mic, bro. You already over here. Check it out, right? Because I'm honored man. to be on to be at the art school. Oh man, I appreciate Even it. Even though, but matter of fact, I'm lying because you said this one time on my show. What you do is art. Yeah. So it's not my type of work, art, but it's like. Art. What I do, but photography in itself, yo, like we was talking about it, like that shit is mad hard, like taking is, pictures though, of people. Man. It is, though. People want to, especially like- And they want great pictures. Yeah, they like, want- you know take, you, me, I don't you know, like that shit. All that. I don't like take that. Take what I give you, man. That's it. That's like, it. You I'll, never, you want to do it in the club, though, right? You nah, wouldn't. Nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm too, that's, I'm too that's good the for worst type of photography. I ain't with it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a billion dollar business, man. Mm. And I ain't got the cash app, but it's, it's going to be there one day. So if you want to donate to Maniac's cash app, you, you yeah, know I don't ask for donations. You, or you want to get I don't somebody. need nobody to donate for me. All right. Just, just support me. Yeah. You ain't got to give me no bread. This I'm dude good. out here want to be on his Independence Beyonce shit, bro. Yeah, I just want to, because I don't want everybody, because I don't want nobody to help me. You don't want nobody helping you? I, they'd have been help. Oh, shit. <laughs> nobody want to help, because... I told you, my man told me one time, I'm telling him, he's like, yo, like, I can't do it because I'm not, I got kids and I need the money now. Two years later, he's like, damn, I should have, like, fuck with you. Yeah, you should have, nigga. Yo, you, you've been branding, you know what I mean? You got the maniac experience, hoodies and stuff like that. We're going to talk a little bit more about what's going on with you, you know what I'm saying? And you got a show coming up too, right? Where you talk about pretty much everything, freestyles. Yeah. Everybody that's been tuning in, you know what I mean? I'm going to be at the five spot too Thursday. Heard you. I'm at, I'm going to pull up there. I'm going to pull up. And it's, it's, it's going to be live. It's funny because, you know what I'm saying, um, I work right down the block. From you got, there, oh, man. you got a job? Yeah, I got a job, man. I'm an art teacher. Well, then that's not really a job. Yeah, that's exactly. So, listen, part of what we're talking about at our school is that if you work at Walmart <laughs> or you got some, like, fuck boy ass, like, security job. security job, but then you know that you are super talented in another realm that that is, like, totally against that, like, 
I don't know what it is. If you're like a chef and you're yeah, like a security, yeah, exactly. you, know, you know what I'm saying? And that's like, you yeah. know that when people eat your food, yeah. everybody in the room is smiling or Fact. rubbing their stomach. Man, quit that you fucking shouldn't be security a construction worker. job. Like, don't be a construction worker. Exactly. Like, Focus on, on what you're doing. Do what you do, man. Chef. That's what it's really about, man. Yeah, that's, because that's what it is. Like, and I don't understand, like, like I said, people look at you, man, I'm telling you, you got bills. Fuck bills. My nigga, let me tell you something, Jack. I be watch, I be hearing these Hollywood <laughs> nigga stories. They that ass though. Like these niggas left their crib with thirteen dollars in their pocket, my nigga, and hopped on the train mm -hmm. and and went to L.A. and just trying to because they knew this is what they wanted it to do. Mm -hmm. Like for real, nigga, they sacrificed everything, nigga. They was homeless, nigga, sleeping in hotel, taking baths and yo. Like, David you know Banner said they had a studio stu come on, in, his in his van. van. Like come on, how how, how dedicated that's. Dedicated like a motherfucker. He just knew his plan was gonna work. You know, so yo, to everybody that's been tuning in, man, another episode, our school and shit. What's today? The seventeenth, right? Mm -hmm. I got a lesson plan to turn in tonight. I'm fucking pretty pissed about that. That lesson shit. Plan. Yeah, man. I told you I'm an art teacher, man. This shit is oh, weird. for kids. Yeah, like I teach sixth through eighth graders. Oh, junior high school. Yeah, man. Middle school. These. What school? Uh, shout outs to MS8, man. It's pretty MS8, cool. sound like a, not just, not yeah, pretty bad. cool. Sound like a gang school, man. Nah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's right I mean, there. Buzzing Crips in that Western House. Nah, they be thinking that they part of that shit, but they <laughs> wild cheeks. You know what I mean? <laughs> these little kids is wild cheeks. Yo. They super horny too, man. Yo, these kids, right? Yeah, these yo, little niggas. Yo, funny, I, yo, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm, shit, these kids is different. Yeah, they wild. But different. you know, God bless y'all, little crazy ass kids. <laughs> For real, because. You know what I mean? I can't fuck with them. You got educators out here, you know. My, everybody has been told. I've had a kid. My shit, my kid getting homeschooled, son. For real? I don't want them to have. I don't want my friends. Not, not these people. Mm. These niggas is different, son. I mean, we could talk a little bit more about open. that. They too open. They just do too much. They 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 do. I'm curious. These kids are too curious out here. Yeah, I meant to tell you too, man. I got the best playlist on um S Street Media. Fuck out of here, yo. No, you don't. Like, yeah, yeah. Nigga, I play Leak Marsh just now. Federal Nightmares. Free AR app too, man. Yeah, it's on my show. Ah. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> so, right? So Yeah, uh, won't make that mistake again. See yeah. you living your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the best playlist, man. Yo, don't forget, man. Another episode. It's your host, your baby moms, aka the multicolored Power Ranger, aka the Silver Surfer. Play Leak hey. Marks again. Leak, who? Leak more pass on again. Federal nightmares, man. Federal nightmares, man. I'm scared. Of, I'm scared of that I'm, shit. I'm super. Yo, like you, yo, cause they come, man. Like years later, like you be like, damn, I done changed my whole life. That's, that's one thing I'm scared for. I make it and it come to just take me away, son. You be like, come on, for real though. That do the Bobby Smurder to me and shit like that. Yo, I ain't even trying to mention names. I'm just saying though. Facts. It That's what happens. We ain't so. even mentioning their names, man. For real. We got 40s and all types of shit. Yo, our school, gangland shit. You already know time of this. S Street Media. Yo, we gonna go back to a little break and all that. So we gonna see y'all soon. Peace. Do -do -do -do. It's been a long time. Now it's finally here. And I'm as stupid as ever. Breezy, I mean. Yo, Spasmo 7, I spit tough shit to keep these assholes sweating. He a vet, wet to till Aaliyah flesh purple. Overkill, ill, stab you in the neck, Urkel. Greasy on deck, full of sleepy tech, murk you. I'll beat you half to death, word the VVS verbal. Yo, what up? A King is van glorious, I'm Neo in the Asians, got the hands on Morpheus. So focused, so damn hot, I might scorch your shit. Pow blung off your shit, how unfortunate, notorious, infamous, I'm ridiculous. Ridiculous. You're faking the funk, punk. I'm live from Mac Nicholas. But nope, this ain't three times dope. It's grease ball greasy. I mean, yeah, he rhymes dope. And yo, if I ain't in your hood grinding, I'm somewhere stomping your face the fuck out with Jux Diamond. Let's rock. Come on, rock with me. Come on, rock with me. Come on, rock with me. I'm rocking with you. Y'all rocking with me. Rock with me. Come on, 
rock with me. Come on, rock with me. I'm rocking with you. I'm rocking with me. Yo. My attitude is Bruce Van. Uh, save it for David. I lay shit in a loose man. Uh, nothing to play with. I spray shit shooting loose ram. Uh, make shit a brick shit. I come through with two hammers. My attributes build to destroy. Want your shit pushed back? Come build with your boy. Get your wig pushed back. Broad day on the back block. Back block smoking like your mama's on crack rock. Yo, don't get clapped in the flat top. I'm a pro with the max. Smash your apple flat laptop. You that little wheel on your OSX. These are old school pro tools, I'm so deaf, Jeff. What? I shut them down like Chuck. I don't see no rappers around, they ducking down like bucking, yup. Yeah. You damn right. If I ain't in your hood grinding, I'm somewhere stomping your face the fuck out with just diamonds. Come on, rock with me. Come on, rock with me. Come on, rock with me. I'm rocking with you, y'all rocking with me. It's been a long time. Now it's finally here, and I'm as stupid as ever. Breezy, I mean. Yo, Spasmo 7, I spit tough shit to keep these assholes sweating. He a vet, wet to till a Leah flesh purple. Overkill ill, stab you in the neck, Urkel. Greasy on deck, full of sleepy tech, murk you. I'll beat you half to death, word the VVS verbal. What up? A-King is vanglorious, I'm Neo and the Asians got their hands on Morpheus. So focused, so damn hot, I might scorch your shit. Pow blung off your shit, how unfortunate, notorious, infamous, I'm ridiculous. You're faking the funk, punk. I'm live for Mac Nicholas. But nope, this ain't three times dope. It's grease ball greasy. I mean, yeah, he rhymes dope. And yo, if I ain't in your hood grinding, I'm somewhere stomping your face the fuck out with Jugs Diamonds. Let's rock. Come on, rock with me. Come on, rock with me. Come on, rock with me. I'm rocking with you. Y'all rocking with me. Rock with me. Come on, rock with me. Come on, rock with me. I'm rocking with you. I'm rocking with me. Yo. My attitude is Bruce Van. Uh, save it for David. I lay shit in a loose man. Uh, nothing to play with. I spray shit shooting loose grandma. Uh, make shit a brick shit. I come through with two hammers. My attributes build to destroy. Want your shit pushed back? Come build with your boy. Get your wig pushed back. Broad day on the back block. Back block smoking like your mama's on crack rock. Yo, don't get clapped in the flat top. I'm a pro with the max. Smash your apple flat laptop. You that little wheel on your OSX. These are old school pro tools. I'm so deaf, Jeff. What? I shut them down like Chuck. I don't see no rappers around. They ducking down like bucking, yup. Yeah. You damn right. If I ain't in your hood grinding, I'm somewhere stomping your face the fuck out with just diamonds. Come on, rock with me. Come on, rock with me. Come on, rock with me. I'm rocking with you. Y'all rocking with me. Rock with me. Come on, rock with me. Come on, rock with me. I'm rocking with you. Y'all rocking with me. Long time. Now it's finally here. And I'm as stupid as ever. Creepy, I mean. Yo, Spasmo 7, I spit tough shit to keep these assholes sweating. He a vet, wet to till a Leah flesh purple. Overkill ill, stab you in the neck, Urkel. Greasy on deck, full of sleepy tech, murk you. I'll beat you half to death, word the VBS verbal. What up? A-King is vanglorious, I'm Neo and the Asians got their hands on Morpheus. So focused, so damn hot, I might scorch your shit. Pow blung off your shit, how unfortunate, notorious, infamous, I'm ridiculous. You're faking the funk, punk. I'm live for Mac Nicholas. But nope, this ain't three times dope. It's grease ball greasy. I mean, yeah, he rhymes dope. But yo, if I ain't in your hood grinding, I'm somewhere stomping your face the fuck out with Jugs Diamonds. Let's rock. Come on, rock with me. Come on, rock with me. Come on, rock with me. I'm rocking with you. Y'all rocking with me. 
rock with me. Come on, rock with me. Come on, rock with me. Bang, 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 bang. God damn. Grease ball activities with rock with me. Yo, as Grease Ball, who did that beat? It's like a rock and roll beat. Yo, that shit was fire, man. Shout out to Grease Ball, man. Grease Ball, alone, he, man, he, he robbed like, he, he rob animated. He's like, he an animated rapper. Like, yeah, man. He's definitely animated. He can rap like comic book shape shit. Like, like. Yo, not for nothing. Black comic books, man. For real. Yo, shout outs to Bam. They had uh, Urban Comic Book Expo. About a week ago, it was free. So they featured a lot of black artists out there, black and brown artists that's in the comic book realm. You know what I'm saying? Because DC and Marvel, man, y'all shit is cool and all that, but y'all need a y'all need a y'all need some brothers and sisters up there, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the label will be called, but you know, if anybody that's watching at Street Media or watching Art School, you know that tunes in every Sunday. You know, we had a little hiccup today due to guests. What the fuck you know mean? mean, nigga? Hiccup. This is this God made this. He, he, God he, made this. He happen. made this happen. The most. He, he, he knew. I, he, he knew no. you owe me a favor. Not for nothing, really. I did. But I'm glad I'm up here. That man. was also. This um, is dope. I I was talking about this yesterday. Had an event with the Experience Magazine. Shout outs to the People's Forum over there on 37th Street. The Experience Magazine, and they ain't got the Maniac Experience up there. Yo, man, we gonna get you up we there. We gotta man. talk to these people, man. Like the yeah. Brainiac Show, like the Act Maniac, like. Listen, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, man. <laughs> we gotta, we gonna have to talk, man. Matter of fact, I'm gonna save it for Thursday. You gonna save it for Thursday? Yeah, at the five spot, I will be there. Where's Live. It? It's um, what's that uh, address? It's, it's, it's on Myrtle Avenue. On Myrtle, man, Clan Hills, Murder and Washington, man, right on the corner, man. Shout outs to Joe Fatal, man, for putting this together. This is the second one, right? Who who else is up there with you? I know it's you got Stuck B, Stuck B Show, Fashion and Fuck Boys. As soon as, man, great journalist, man, you know, I kind of get a lot of what I'm doing from his script, you know what I mean? So shout out to soon as, because, you know, and I'm saying this on tape, you know what I mean? I'm not afraid to admit Hell no. things, you know what I mean? Yeah, give me the props, man. Yeah, man. Soon. That's all I ask for. Niggas give me my props. Yeah, man. Let me tell you something, son. You were just showing me a video oh, yeah. of what, you know, your promo and things like that. It was pretty legit, man. You shooting at Claire too. You can see that shape up nice on there, boy. In fact, I was there. I gotta stay with a nice shape, but when you ain't got no money, you got at least look like something. Yeah, you gotta look. You but gotta look like you, 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 you know, I edit. Listen, I tell nigga, I'm the, I'm the picture man. I'm the edit man. I got mad titles, job titles. Mm. By myself though, like I take the picture. I send you the picture, I edit the picture, I shoot a video, I edit the video, I send the video, I... Yeah, you I, got all of this from yourself or... Myself, you yeah, that ass. Learn all this shit by yourself. By myself, work, no cool. school. Um, I'm self-taught, man. Self-taught. That's pretty cool. I'm, it's not... You know, a lot of times, I think it's what we go through in life, you know what I mean? That journey that gets us to where we're doing naturally, yeah. you know? It's not like... You, some, and that's another thing as far as art school is concerned because I've never really seen the media side of artists or the portrayal of artists, you know? It's Fact. like... Now you, I think you're the first one, right? Ain't you? I mean, me, I think... Well, Josie Boy, too, you know... Well, he when was, he, he had a podcast before you? Yeah, it was. it's Call Me When It's Over, so, so like you, I said, you, so on, on tap, camera. You tap, 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 tap. Oh, on... on Top two. So you, so I'm saying so like so twenty years later when it's like mad art podcasts you could be like out the forefront. No, nah, I'm gonna say I'm the top. I'm gonna say I'm the top three. The only three that no top four or top five. No hell no. No no no. There's five. How there's, about the no? Y'all bugging. Five, no, y'all bugging. Niggas, is is it is it got a golf off for one of these for the art band? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got Ross. That guy Ross thing. That was his name Ross. That want to do for Channel 13? Nah, man. Oh. That oh fuck he's the play he's the godfather for y'all godfather fuck yeah he's definitely the godfather the godfather man he opened the door for y'all then it's show me matter of fact any a picture of him up here you do Bob Ross I'm Bob Ross rest the piece Bob Ross man yeah I'm gonna definitely Bro. get a picture of Bob Ross up here see man that's what I do Bro, I appreciate you man yeah you took so me. it's the Bob Ross show right yeah I think that's the he started first time, it. right we seen an artist painting yeah consistently facts right and then we got. 
out of this, out of the respect and love, I gotta give it to Josie Boy because he called me when it's over it was by an artist featuring artists. So I have to give him that. Shout out to Josie and Boy. And then it's me. I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. Then, so you, so you're in history books. Yeah, I'm in history. Books. And then it's hype beast, and then it, or it's like in between hype beast and juxtapose magazine. So, so anybody it, after you. Anybody after you? I juxtaposed after that. So anybody after, after you, it's like you know, what I'm saying? they yeah, you the big homie. I'm a big homie. Say no more. See, I'm trying to say like nobody look. You don't look like that. And now you now see now you got extra hard because you got to set examples. Yeah, I gotta set the trend. Your mistakes. You can't make you can't make a lot of mistakes. Any man. photographers that you that nope. you see? No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> the I don't record. know. I don't know no photographer names. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Like, fuck it. Right. So you. Matter of fact. I'm gonna shout my boy Lie out, my boy Lie, my boy Lie, man. man. Yeah, shout out Lie. He's 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 the he, he. You can say he's my big homie. He he my big homie for the camera shit. Yeah. Oh, he, okay. What's up, Lie, man? You shout out to Lie, man. Big homie. Yeah, yeah. Camera, he man. he um he he looks out for him all the time, man. He he um he school me. So how you get all your information? But I'm better than him though. How you get your information? <laughs> like you go online? Nah. Nah. I'm self taught. Just that's it. I learned from, I learned from my mistake. I hear that. And if it's a mistake, I won't put it out. So, hey, you will never see it anyway. Mm. When I feel it's good, then I just put it out. Yo, there's a lot of people that's learning that way, just like self-taught, man. Yeah, but they they, they, they they do it, but they're acting like, they, yo, hire me. Serious choirs only. And then you take a picture for two months. What the fuck have I been hiring you for? You ain't dope. Mm. Like, I haven't got that on my shit. Like, booking the choirs. That, that, <laughs> oh, man, listen. I ain't got time for that. When did. that, cause like when you put that shit in your in your in your bio, like you got to be about that, son. Yeah, you better be taking some fire ass. Like shit. you got to be hanging on bridges with your <laughs> and like <laughs> click. Like you got to be a risk taker. Yo, so, <laughs> yo, I ain't with that shit. I'm yo, scared of heights. You know who's a risk taker? Thirteenth witness. What's up, gang? You know what I'm saying? Peep you out there, yo. That's Futura's son. And like, he, like, yeah, he yeah, takes like, some wild pictures. He takes pictures like uh, hanging out in a helicopter. He, that's with see, the wild. He, he's the type of brother who should have bio and his bio that series acquired only. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. nigga be rapping for one month and be having <laughs> series acquired only. This is my book. If you want to book me, nigga, nobody want to book your rap, your garbage ass. So, how long have you been into the? the um, film? I'm, I'm, I'm still less than a year. I'm like eight, nine months. Eight, nine months. Yeah, but man. they should book you though. You should book me because you you ain't only getting pictures though. We get video the whole time. Nah, even now you get you getting a good since you getting some personality too, man. Like mm -hmm. so, even if the picture look bad, you could like, now he said he was funny though. So, <laughs> brilliant. You That's know, part man? of the business though, right? Yeah, man. Like, but I ain't afraid to tell a motherfucker I'm not that nice. Like I never like off the rip though. I ain't that good. So. <laughs> no. Like, but I do it. <laughs> you know, and and. Let me let, let me tell somebody. Let me tell you something too, man. Because a lot of people got like I want. I'm glad I could talk to you on your show, so because I ain't got your people watch your show. They don't watch mine. But, <laughs> so, but they, they but they'll so now. But they hear my message. I don't call people. Uh -huh. If you don't call me, I won't call you. Mm -hmm. But it's one thing I do. I stand. If I say something, even though I be high most of the time, I still <laughs> remember what I say, uh -huh. and I keep my word. Like if I say I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Like so. But if you don't call me. To follow up on it, I'm not gonna call you to follow up on it. So don't like I don't care who you are. I don't give a fuck if we had the best time the night before and we you well, I don't care. If you don't call me, I am not gonna call you. Yo, Pepsi's a sponsor us, bro. Shout out to Pepsi, Michael Jackson, man, burnt fuck his head and shit. Remember that shit? Whack ass Super Bowl party. Whack ass Super Bowl um show. Y'all should sponsor us, man, because we got three cans of fucking Pepsi on the, on this table. Well, and, it, and it's four dollars a piece. And we're not throwing them away either. We're gonna recycle. Yo, them. man, Pepsi ain't gotta sponsor me. I don't want Pepsi. I'm a Coca Cola anyway. Oh, you a Coca Cola? Yeah, yo, Coca Cola's Coca -Cola best soda, man. Nah, I don't like Coca Cola. That shit is nasty. Yeah, man. Pepsi. It's like this is it's like a Nikon. Mm. Coca Cola's a cannon. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like it's cool to walk around with your little Nikon. Mm. When you put like cannon out, they be like, "Yo, mm. yeah, he." So you prefer cannons? If, well, yeah, that's it. I'm, 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 I'm fucking with. I am. I don't want to know nothing else but another camera. Heard now I'm lying. Sony's dope, son. Sony is. That was good. Sony has yeah, some dope. What are you cameras. talking about, bro? Don't act like them boys over there ain't, ain't getting busy. With nah, Sony's. Yo, you see the video? Oh, nah, son. Sony's dope. No. Yo, Sony. 
Holla at us, man. Fuck you talking about, man. Come on, man. I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll fucking promote y'all for a little while. Right, that's right. Just give us a little banner or something. Pay us like 250000 and we good. We could create some flowers. You can just pay me 50000 I don't give a fuck. 50000 is great, but you know what I'm saying? Yo, all that money y'all making, y'all can give me 25000 right? I got a family. I got a family. <laughs> I got a family. I gotta take but you got a job, though, so like. Yeah, I still need that bread, yeah, I don't though. Know, I got man. a family. Bro. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep it gangsta out here, man. Well, but shout outs to Melo Tyson. Matter of fact, you, why you put like draw shit while you like podcasting? You know, uh, I think just because of the time. The time, man. You're the an time. artist, but you should be able to take pictures and sh I mean, take pictures. I'm um, draw while you talking. Yeah, the next the next one I'm planning on doing, man. But some of these artists, man, they. They be rescheduling. They like, who the fuck do these they, niggas think they are though? I don't know, bro. Like they doing you a favor, right? You, let me say something. You're not, <laughs> hold on, wait. Let me, let me get my phone ready. <laughs> Let's be clear. <laughs> New York City, <laughs> Five Boroughs, uh -huh. Brooklyn, Bushwick, Murraysburg, Best Style, mm -hmm. Brownsville, Red Hook, Downtown Brooklyn, wherever, Queens, Harlem. Y'all not doing me no favor for coming to my podcast mm -hmm. or coming in front of my camera. I'm doing you a favor. Mm -hmm. None of you unsigned niggas is bigger than the maniac <laughs> experience. And that's word to my mother. Yeah. Ain't none of you niggas. That's what we talk about. Listen, you told me you're going to do something for me. You don't do it. I ain't going to call. I ain't, I ain't going to inbox you like you're always coming. That's your loss. Mm -hmm. I just went through like... I think the yeah, well, you know, niggas acting like... They got, yo, um, I got, um, I'm going to see, I got to do something then. Oh, I'm going to tell you something, right? I had a couple of niggas in the podcast, right? And it, didn't, it never worked out, right? And um, so I look at it in Graham one day, and I see, uh, um, I see them on podcast. And I see them on the podcast. First of all, the videos is trash. Uh, it's not clear. Mm -hmm. And I don't know the fuck the people that was interviewing them. Mm. And you dubbed my shit for that? Dubbed it. <sighs> They not even cool enough, man. Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all niggas something, man. I'm going to say it again, man. Ain't none of you niggas doing me a favor. Y'all niggas been rapping for 10 years. I'm the underground king. Oh. I I make the decision if you go mainstream or not. Mm. Believe it or not. <laughs> so I'm the over I'm the overground king. Like, you I know like what I'm saying? I just I that's you. my title. I hate, I hate You know what I'm saying? I'm the I I I make that decision. I'm like the parole board. Yo, what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue? Where we at? Blue. Blue. Well, that's where we at. You know I learned that blue shit from East New York, too. Shout out to East New York. Yeah, that's a big, that's a big fact. That's a big shout fact. Out to you know C bro, bro, shout out to C Murder, too, man. Shout out to C Murder. Shout out all the motherfucking, all them, all them niggas with the blue yeah, on that man. East New York side. Yeah, East New York. Yo, man. We I'm telling you something. A couple, Yo, when I first moved to East New York, it was red, right? Yeah. No lie, right? That shit was like red, like... Like DMX was freaking get at me though. Like mm -hmm. the, the the red team, they was running around crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Yo, so the guy named C Murder came home, son, right? And the nigga, like he lived, he he had family, his brother and him lived next door to me. The nigga stood in the house for like a week, right? The nigga would just be looking at the like out the door, like he wouldn't even step outside, right? I guess he was plotting some and it boy. That nigga one week he came out, boy, this nigga was fighting yo, this nigga was going to Euclid Train, that shit being up being up nigga with anywhere with red on. Put it right, putting that shit on flags under his shoe. In a matter of a month, the whole East New York was crips, huh? Yeah. I'm like, yo. I'm like, damn, son. I was like this. Like the cops are pretty no, no one man should have all this power. <laughs> like, yo, you. it was like blood's coming to the block, and I could tell them they didn't want to be blood, but they wanted to be a grip. I'm like, God damn, son. Yo, you already know what time it Shout is. Shout out to murder, man. Yo, East New York, man, you know what I mean? They got the flu out there. Certain parts, you know what I mean? It's real heavy. Nah, it is, though, They man. got the flu, so, yo. you know. But we're talking a little bit more with the That's baby. art, nigga. Yeah, the Talk Maniac about. Experience. You're here. You know yeah, what I mean? Another episode of Art School, you know, for yo. sweat. From I'm glad you. I'm glad you invited me, man. Oh man, it's always a pleasure to talk to artists. Period. You know what I mean? And just being able to uh, give back to the universe. You know, that's give the back to the universe, my yeah, man, conscious give, brother. Yeah, man, give back to the universe. That's really important for us. You know, as entrepreneurs, you know what I'm saying, and businessmen and stuff like that. You gotta yo, give back. You know, yo, somehow, how you feel somewhere. about that Gucci, that Gucci shit? And, I mean, I've always been on that type of time. 
you know, where I don't even think about Gucci. My guilty pleasure is Hermes, though. So I'm just waiting for Hermes to come out with some fucked up ass media stunt yo, or something yo man and i'm like I'm damn i gotta put away my hermes like shit you know but i never wore gucci anyway so i never really cared i mean i don't wear that shit either you know i did a piece on this fashion shit that i lost and i was talking about all the houses that comes that that run the industry the fashion industry and the gucci house itself has always been this you know just inconsiderate you know racist companies from yo, the man, beginning. So. I tell people this all the time, man. We not like we just tolerate it by the other race. Believe it or not. Like I ain't saying all, but listen, eight out of ten, they tolerate you. They don't like you. You know what I'm saying? It's the big difference between somebody liking you and tolerating you. And um I understand why black people are so quick to forgive. Forgive if y'all want to forgive Everybody, but your own people. Damn, nigga, we had beef a couple years ago. We still got beef. Like, think of it, forgive and forget this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Forgive me for what I did to you, and I forgive whatever you did to me. Let's forget this shit and let's move on. Mm -hmm. No, we still drama. We still drama. Ten years later, we still got drama. Still got but y'all niggas will forgive any motherfucking body that's not your color. I don't understand. And fuck Steve Harvey, too. Yeah, I said it. Wow. Gonna have mom nigga up there and act like she did something wrong. Nah, man, I think it's just perspective. No, not perspective, man, nigga. He was talking like he knew what the fuck he was talking. He it's a different. See, do. listen, it's a difference when you're talking to somebody from opinion, state, and from some shit you know. Yo, my you, nigga, let me tell you something. It ain't a money. It's not a money game, nigga. It is you, a money. No, game. No, it's not a money game. It's a money game. You still out here. Yo, listen. You still has fucking sharp uh, hairlines. Nah, he's not, oh, listen, listen. Bro, it's he not a money game, my nigga. My, my, Muhammad Ali went to jail, son, for his, for his interrogation. Yo, and this is the thing, see, and I'll just... And the film is still good. Yo, listen, listen, listen. Hear me out, though, champion. Right? Hear me out, champion. Hear me out. I'm right? asking. I'm talking to my shorty about this, and I, you know what I mean? We was talking about the Sam Cook shit, right? Sam Cook was hanging out with Muhammad Ali. Sam Cook was also... When it was Muhammad Ali, he was... Chilling with a whole bunch of people, Martin Luther King, all right. right? All, all right. These, so these are different elements. The, listen, hold on, I'm break this down to you, go hold on, right? So you had a religious person, you had an entertainer, right? You had a politician, all in the same circle. You know what I'm saying? And he had a businessman in that circle too. That was with Sam Cooke and what he was doing with his partner when he started when he launched his own record label right these are all black business this is an entity right what we got today we don't have that religious person because nobody really want to kick it with farrakhan you know what i'm saying like we don't got that major religious figure that can go to jail like muhammad ali did you know what i'm saying and still be respected for going to jail because he's gonna get protected while he's in jail ain't nobody fucking with muhammad that's what i'm saying you know what i mean like he could go to jail and eat like a fucking boss live like a boss right and get protected and yo could you imagine this hold on just hear me out no, could you imagine this if muhammad ali was to go to jail during those times and get killed do you know what would have happened? That would have been like President Obama being assassinated. Right. Let me um break this down to you. I've been in jail, right? So you're telling me Muhammad, listen, the nation listen. of Islam. No, no, no. He would have been, hell yeah, he would have been fucking praised. That's a fact. But let me tell you something. Monique would have been praised too if she had to go to jail. And let me, let me tell you something. In jail, you see, how, you see how, what I'm saying right now about what Monique, how Monique is? Right now, how she, talk, how she not keeping her mouth shut? She and, sounded right, like... Right? Look, I'm saying like... It's people that in jail that think like that. It's a thousand inmates who's thinking like that. Because son. Monique is sounding like Malcolm and no, but Ma and and Steve Harvey is sounding like Martin. Now the roles have reversed because at one time it was also our women that was saying, "Yo, it is a money game, right? The women are the ones that's taking charge in the houses, right? The women are the ones that's going out getting the most education. The, that's money. You can't just go to you cannot go to LIU and go expect to pay nothing less than fifty thousand dollars for your masters when you go to those classes in LIU, which is downtown Brooklyn, and you're going for your masters. Guess who's in there? A whole bunch of black women. It ain't black men." 
So it's a money game because you know once you get those letters attached to your last name, you make more money. So I'm saying in this sense where Monique is now saying from a perspective like I fucks with what she's saying, but you don't hear women out here talking like that, like Monique. Because, my nigga, these people is law. These people is law, my nigga. Yeah, so this is the Steve, world we live in. Steve Harvey, a lost nigga. Steve Harvey is lost saying, nigga. Steve Harvey is saying this, right? Steve Harvey's a fucking, he's a coon anyway. Yo, listen though, but I'm just saying, wasn't our fucking president one? Who? Huh? I said, our president? I said our president was cool. My nigga, our president, he, he. But we all know that, though. It's, it's not a shorty, secret. It's not a shorty wasn't talking wait, like that, on, though. Let's talk. Let's talk. We all, we know. Well, let me talk. Shorty wasn't let talking talk. like Monique. Let me talk. His shorty was not talking Who? like Monique. Michelle? Michelle was not talking Man, like please. Monique, boy. Let me talk. We all know. She's talking we, about but, but, getting listen, food. Every president, is, every president is, but it is the same shit. We all know they don't make the final decisions. We know they always talk that shit to get the vote. We know that. It's the game. That's the president game. We know that. Of course, I'm not going to judge Obama for the game. Nigga, it's the game. We know that. Some shit was heartfelt. We know we did. It was hard. And some shit was really political shit that we already know what was going to happen. We know this already. It's the game. The president game. But we're talking about oh, real, when he telling her she should have been quiet. They think, my nigga, fuck God of here. She shouldn't. If you had, if you wasn't gonna back what she said, you shouldn't have said nothing at all. Yo, I'm saying from the. You just talked. To, you trying to. There's I, two perspectives. No, it is. I, I'm talking from mine. This, yeah, and then from your perspective, there's also that person that is gonna tell you, "Yo, bro, I got kids. Fuck your kids." This I, is, I, I, I'm I don't, just I don't, saying. That's what he said. Man, I don't he was, care. He was also talking about the pers the perspective my of his nigga, grandkids. Man. He was talking about his grandkids, right? If Steve Harvey was to get fired yesterday, he'd be good. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. He'd be good. No, he wouldn't. What do you mean he wouldn't be good? No, he wouldn't. He'd be good. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't have to work for the rest of his life. No, he would not. He would not be good. He will, man. No, he would Steve be good. Harvey. My is, nigga, these yo, people would be forget good. that Steve Harvey got wild kids. I don't care how many kids he got. Ste okay, and people forget that child support and all that shit still exists. All right, listen. He getting slapped. Oh, listen. Like these these entertainers. I, 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 it takes more money to keep yourself afloat I, when you're an entertainer. Yo, when like the last time Eddie Murphy made a movie? Eddie Murphy. I'm asking you. Eddie Murphy is broke, bro. You know what you mean? Child support? No, I don't think he's broke. Right, yeah, if he right. broke, he definitely would have been yeah, there right. in the Eddie movie. Eddie Murphy, bro. There ain't nothing for Eddie Murphy to walk up in one of Eddie these Murphy movies. Eddie Murphy ain't seeing that 80s money. Listen, no more. Let me, uh, uh, he you, broke. that's your opinion. He broke. I'm, uh, for what I see, I see his payments is still. Is, his child support payments is out of the roof. It is. Right? If he was broke, it ain't nothing from Eddie Murphy to walk in Lion Gate, whatever, and pitch a movie and get yeah, Or ask to be in one of these bulls, anything. It's Eddie Murphy, right? So he's not broke, and like I said, I'm saying in the sense of the quality of life that you're wishing. To I don't think these guys are broke. I don't think Yo, he's broke. If but you got ten kids and you got to give them all fifty thousand dollars a piece, that yeah, you you, you, and, you you and you do a movie and off the movie credits like they. I right, try this right now. They give you the front. They give you the front end, right? They, like they said the front end is five hundred, right? Five hundred. Plus the fifty thousand that you gotta give to all ten of your kids. Break that down. How much is that spent right, off that? You think Cameron only? Uh, you think Cameron is only a rapper? No. I'm gonna ask you a question. No. You I think? Know he's uh, not you only think? A you know how many? I'm saying. You know how many businesses these niggas got? Eddie Murphy don't got no other. How you thing. figure that? He's not no Can't, fucking Al Can't, Harrington. My nigga Cameron on. He's a lot of fast food restaurants, yo, but he don't. But promote. we know about this shit. Huh? We know. We wouldn't know if he wouldn't have said it. Oh, no, period. His name is period, bro. We know about it because if you really in the mix, then you wouldn't know. No, that. hold on. If you really in the mix and knowing about these things, and we appreciate y'all for tuning in to art school, and that's what part of Maniac Experience show is: is these these conversations that are really, you know, what I mean, interesting and and, uh, and thought provoking. Sorry. But I'm saying everybody knew if you were in the mix of. Cameron's life that his mom's had liquor stores when he was a young nigga. I ain't talking about the liquor stores. I'm talking about she, he already knew what other businesses was before he was rapping, bro. And my nigga. And he was getting cheddar. He was knew about other businesses way before that. There's certain people, no matter what, they don't like. I'm just saying, as black entertainers, <laughs> right? Look, black entertainers or anybody that's in the that's in the field of knowing. You would hear something about you. You hear about Chameleon there 
on Silicon Valley, before you hear about Eddie Murphy's businesses, something is fucking wrong. My that nigga, means he don't got no, no businesses. No, 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 you're wrong. That means he don't got no. Check it how, out. Right? How do we know about Chameleon? Check there? it out. Check it out. Check oh, it out. Man, you're bugging, Ch bro. Check it out. When these brothers make, when they, sorry, make, when these, like these Eddie Murphys, when they had, the, when they come with them long sums of money, they get business advisors. Like Fifty got. You think Fifty came up with all these plans? Yeah. Hell no, yeah. nigga. He just needed ways to. No, he I'm. Just, no, they have. Stuff. People, he, he got people, people, he that people around that him, his business advisors. And this is what I'm saying. Eddie Murphy don't do nothing but spank boots. So you don't think he got business advisors? I don't think he got business advisors. Because if he did, like, like, <laughs> like if he did, like Al, like Al Harrington, a, a former basketball player, like all these players that are from the 80s that you're finally, like Chauncey Billups, or like these low-level, I ain't going to say low-level, but these B-grade athletes or superstars, you're finding out about everybody's business. There's nothing on public record that says Eddie Murphy has a fucking business somewhere in this fucking world. But but came on, he don't even got his names on them shits. Like 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 you want like he's like he's like mad niggas don't like him, so he already know what's gonna happen. So uh, them shits where you probably eating at downtown Brooklyn is probably one of his shits. We you never heard of nothing. We never heard of nothing. No, because we ain't hear it. I mean, it's true. I'm just saying, not a peep or nothing. Like, it's, it's probably, not a peep. We ain't gotta hear everything. Eddie Murphy you think be? we entitled to hear everything? So why we know about all ten of his kids? It's quiet. Cause we know about it. It's it's quiet. Everything is let up and down. They talk, talk about the whole life. I feel like this. I, that's yeah. You feel like all right, I, cool. And it's your I, opinion. No, I also think opinion. I think opinion. because I'm looking for the facts. I'm not just thinking with emotion. I'm you, thinking logically on the facts that I have not seen any paperwork that says anything you have, about. Man, you don't have to see Eddie Murphy, Murphy bro. And his the, the social media done fucked the world up. So now, if it's not placed on your page, we don't believe no, you got it. No, I ain't it. say if it's placed on your page. I'm just I just saying, think I be in the that nigga ain't in the shelter, is he? <laughs> is Eddie Murphy living in the shelter? Shit, I know his brother was getting more burned than him, and everybody knew that shit. But you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna talk about. Nah, that. I'm just saying though. We ain't gonna think, talk about that. Too, you know, man. you got a whole show right that talks about all of these different. I'm just bringing my art to your art school. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm smearing my little paint up in your banner. Oh man, that's pretty cool. Facts. I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna have people. See you gotta get Ross though. Who? Bob Ross. Is the I name? gotta get the. I gotta get the spirit of Bob Ross up here. You have to, man. You know like I, I, I don't understand why you don't even got that, man. I'm glad. See, God I told you God works in mysterious ways, bro. Yeah, he man. brought me here to tell you that. I'm, I'm thankful every day. That ass probably. The black Bob Ross, but you I need Bob Ross, that. man. I think people already use. Matter of fact, get safety pins. Get safety pins. Bob Ross, you gotta. I took it off the air because I don't want everybody taking my idea and get, take your idea me giving you. So I ain't going to talk about it right now. <laughs> I took about it off the air. I'm going to give you some great A game for free. Yo, right now it's um, another Sunday, 216. Well, two, excuse me, Sunday, February 17th. Can I spit some balls? 2019. <laughs> Yo, we ain't talking none of that ball shit on my show. What about art, though? All right, let's hear it. I always wanted to be a rapper. It's for like, you know, so I'm going to um, spit my art school bars we and gotta, stuff. We're going to end the show out with... Maybe I'm ending the show? Yeah, with your bars. Oh, shit. You're now tuned in to the art school. Math, he ain't no fool. He'll paint you a house. He'll paint you a room. He won't paint his soul for the white man consume. He teach kids in junior high, 6th to 8th grade. He tell him pick up a paintbrush, put down that haze. He's a he's a leader in his neighborhood. Y'all all should listen, and he'll paint your motherfucking house without no permission. Art school, gangland. <laughs> yo, yo, where can they find you? Man, you can find me on Hot Night Seven. <laughs> nah, you can find me on Instagram. That's it. Big underscore maniac underscore mmg maniac underscore experience maniac display. And all type of mania. Anything with mania, that's me. That's all you need to know. Gangland. You already know what time it is, yo. We appreciate you, yo. It's your host, your baby mom, <laughs> aka the Silver is the Surfer Rest, aka the Multicolored Power Ranger, aka the Black Bob Ross. That's a new one. AKA Yo, Bob man. Ross, Professor X, cause I handle all my business. Sit thing. down. Bars, yo, man. Yo, just chilling here. We appreciate I'm taking that. I'm taking that line. I'm gonna spit that in the battle. Nah. <laughs> I took that from Surf. 
Yeah. Yeah, I took that from Surf. Oh, uh, I thought you. Nah, I didn't. I'm not a what? You took that from Surf. Yo, great artist. Um, still. <laughs> yeah. What is a good artist copy and great artist still? Yo, <laughs> it's been a wonderful night. We appreciate y'all, man. Math in the back. He's been playing some dope tunes. And I had shit. fun, man. Thanks. Yo, man. Fucks with you, man. God bless. You know what I mean? Make sure you tune in to the Maniac Experience. You know what I'm saying? SG Media, we live. I got the best playlist on this fucking streaming site. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, he did take one of my songs. I took that. I said the debut of that song on my shit. Nah, man. I, I fucked up. You fucked up, man. I made a rookie mistake. It's you learn it, man. You learning. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, math, man. Whenever you ready, you could drop some fire. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Um, but check it. I spit some more balls if you want. Yeah, man. All right, all right, all right. This is, that's it. The first Now we time. signing out. It's the Maniac Experience. If you want a hoodie, DM me, and DM, <laughs> DM me then. I charge you about $30 for some good product. If you got $25, I still take it. I holler. Cause I ain't here to take your money. I'm here to give you life. Maniac experience. Maniac life. Heard you. Good night, y'all. Peace.